about the moon temple, Dan? Uh, yeah, well, basically, when we started the project, it was just sort of uh, to commemorate the leaving of uh, my friend Michael Powell. He was leaving Bristol. So we thought we'd work on a project together. So uh, we decided to assemble a few other artists and uh, make this derelict building into something that people could enjoy spending time in. Uh, so we did that in August 2014. And uh, I've come back here every full moon and had gatherings here since then. Uh, every full moon, so sort of every month I get people to come along and uh, just play instruments and just have a pleasant time basically and just enjoy uh, the project for what it is. Uh, obviously things sort of change as the project uh, evolves. A any project like this it has, to, it has to be something that has a life of its own. It has to be something that develops and doesn't always stay the same. Uh, so um, what's the history of the building? Right, you know? uh, in the early 20th century uh, it was built here. It's thought as a signal box. Uh, for the railway which of course went over the viaduct. Um, there was an attempt to demolish it sometime in the 50s when it disappeared off ordnance survey maps but we don't really know exactly uh, why they didn't completely demolish it. A lot of the way that I've produced the work is related to a project uh, that I started three or four years ago called The Brick Project where I got lots of people to make pieces of work in a brick wall which had 224 bricks and I got 224 different artists to uh, design and paint bricks uh, in that brick wall and that's on Stokescroft and then I, I built other brick projects in different parts of Bristol. I kind of see the Moon Temple project as something that is, was born out of that and maybe pushed it forward and evolved it to the next step. Where are we, Dan? <laughs> uh, we're in Royat Hill Nature Reserve, which is sort of uh, at the top of Greenbank Cemetery, just off the path that goes over the viaduct. So uh, a lot of people know of the viaduct and uh, of course lots of people just walk past this building and don't know it's here because like i said it's, it's very overgrown a lot of the time and i think we've made it a lot nicer a much nicer place to come yeah. and spend time um i'm quite proud of all the furniture that i've made here every time that i've put uh furniture uh into the um into the moon temple it's been either burnt or vandalised so uh, every time that's happened I've got um, garden wire and I've fixed the chairs so that they're unburnable basically and uh, there's quite a lot of furniture like that uh, in this space. So with this piece I really wanted the, to, you can see some sections um, of the tags that were on here before, uh, there was a really big tag and I wanted that to actually shine through because I didn't want to kind of dominate the area, uh, I didn't want to dominate the building as if uh, it belonged to me, I just wanted to do something nice with it, uh, to adapt it uh, for, for what I wanted it to be uh, and thus open it up uh, so that other people could do nice pieces of work and just feel comfortable here. Yeah.